Hey you guys, so today I am testing out the auto curler. Really excited to test this. It's something I've wanted to try before. It's cordless um, and supposedly it automatically curls your hair. So we're gonna see how this works. First off, it's like, it's heavy duty. It's got some weight to it, which I like. There's a start button, power button. I've charged this for about hour to two hours and it says it's fully charged. It's supposed to last for a full 60 minutes. I'm a little skeptical about this thing because I've never used something to like automatically curl my hair. So we'll see how this goes. I also have long hair, so this will be interesting to see how it works with my hair. Just to tell you a little bit of information about it, it is 40 watts. It goes up to 200 degrees Celsius and the timer is for eight seconds. Yeah, everything looks super easy. Uh, to function. The start button is here at the front. You can see where this like grabs your hair, holds it, and then releases. You've got your power button, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on, and I'm going to turn it all the way up to 200. Yeah, and then you can um, adjust the time. So you just keep hitting the power button to move through um, your different settings. So I'm going to adjust the time to 10 seconds just to see how that does. I might have to increase it, I'm not sure. The other thing I'm going to do is just brush my hair out. This is the first time I'm trying this, so you're coming along the ride with me. Enjoy it. It says just to section off your hair. So I went ahead and did this side on my own because I needed to learn how to do this in a bigger mirror. I did bring a smaller mirror in here, um, but now that I've got it down, it's a little easier. So again, I've got this set to 360 degrees. Um, I'm doing my left side. It does seem to be running out of battery, but I have had it, I've had it on for probably a half an hour and yeah, it's about halfway done, halfway dead. Um, and I've got it set for 10 seconds. So you're gonna put your hair at the top into the barrel and then click that start button. And then you're gonna hear that beeping. It's gonna beep for 10, 10 times because I've got it set at 10 seconds and then you're gonna hear a double beep. And that's when it's done. So for my taste, the curls are a little tight I prefer like a one and a half inch barrel, and this is half inch. Uh, but if you have a hard time curling your hair, I could see how um, this would be this would be helpful. So just make sure if you're using it that you're taking relatively um, small chunks, which is what it advises. It says to take um, half inch chunks, and that is definitely how it works best. So I would also say if you have a lot of hair, I have a decent amount of hair, but it's fine. Um, if you've got really thick hair, um, this would be pretty time consuming for you. You could definitely do it. it. Just keep in mind that it's gonna take a little bit longer. But again, like I said, if you have a hard time curling your own hair, this is definitely gonna give you, you know, give you that curl without you having to figure it out. I'm definitely getting faster at this as I go. I haven't had my hair this curly in a very long time. So I'm just changing it now to my left side. Because of course you want the curl to go away from your face and not Towards your face, so I do like that it's got that setting. That's great. Okay, we're gonna do this last section. I just prefer my curls to start a little bit lower. I don't, I don't want them super high on top of my head, so I'll be bringing the barrel down a bit. The left and right. 
means that this is spinning around to the right or spinning around to the left. It took me a little while to figure that out. So if it's spinning around to the right on your left side, that's what you're gonna want because you want your hair to go away from your face, if that makes sense. So I actually have this opposite. So when I'm doing my left side, I have it set to right so that the curls are going away from my face and not towards my face, which makes a huge difference. I can tell that these are curls that are like going to last, which is difficult with my hair. My hair does not hold curl super well. So this will be interesting by the end of the day to see where this is at. I had watched a, another YouTube video um, where the, a girl was demoing this. She kept talking about the curls going away from her face, but they were going towards her face and it was driving me insane. So it's just figuring out which way that, that this is spinning. And you guys go ahead and comment below with what your favorite curling iron is, um, what you prefer to use. I'd love to hear too if you've used this, um, but I'd love to know what you're using. Uh, as far as a curling iron that I use, um, I love my Hot Tools curling iron. I use the, uh, for the Hot Tools curling iron, I use the one and a half inch barrel. So I'm down to one bar here, but this is definitely, I say, I'd say this has lasted about an hour because I kept it on um, while I was helping my kids. Okay, so this is this, the final product without me like combing through it and brushing through these curls. I'm going to try to tame these down a bit. I'm just kind of brush through them. Okay, here we have it. It's actually, it's actually very pretty. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with, with the curl. And if you have enough time to dedicate to doing your hair and you, if you also um, struggle with curling your own hair, this is definitely a good tool for you. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off, but it lasted that entire time I was doing my hair, which is great. I am going to kind of back up here so you can get a better idea of the way this looks. It's pretty, and I, I can tell this is going to be a, a curl that holds up for a long time for me. Thanks for joining me today for my review of the auto curler. Hope you enjoyed it.